Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chapter 2 Club, Smart Woman's Guide to Breakups and Everything After. Today, I'm here with licensed clinical sex and marriage therapist, Dr. Lisa Paz, and we're going to be talking about body image and your mind-body connection. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for being here. Let's Hi. jump right in. What are a couple of tips we can give our audience members out there on your body image and your mind-body connection? So here's what I want to say before I get into the tips. I just want to let every woman know, and I think that this will resonate, that one of the top inhibitors to women being able to get into a sexual interaction or feel good post-divorce in their dating or in their post-divorce exploration is that they don't feel comfortable in their body. So to sort of leverage yourself successfully into this next chapter of life, you need to get comfortable with your body. And so tips for that include... And by the way, comfortable with your body doesn't necessarily mean a certain body type. It's just whatever comfortable is for you. I really, really support an exercise regimen for all women that supports a mind body connection that gets you connected to how your body works, which is important for sex. And it does leverage confidence within the body. Um, lingerie for those parts of your body that are not 18 years old and super perky anymore or might interrupt uh, your capacity to be fully in the moment because you're watching yourself in your mind's eye, throw on some lingerie, get some stuff on or have some stuff in your drawers that you feel good about that. You're like, you know what? I put this on. I feel confident. I feel like the parts that I'm not loving are covered up and I can really lean into it. Um, have a self care regimen. I don't care if that means you like hairy armpits and let your armpit hair grow. If that means you like laser and everything super, super clean, do that but really connect to what is my self-care regimen so that I can feel best when I let someone into my body. And then last but not least is just affirm yourself. So be very careful about being hard on yourself when you look in the mirror. You know, all of us are very difficult at like, oh, I like this about myself. Say what you like about yourself to yourself in the mirror. That will help you connect when it comes time to be more intimate with somebody and have fun. Awesome. Thank you so much. These are great tips. I hope our audience um, enjoys these tips as well. And you can find more resources at chapter2.com and we'll see you next time. Thank you, Dr. Paz. Thank you.